Hi, I'm Noah, and today I'm going to solve one of the greatest problems facing mankind. Soggy cookies breaking and falling into tea. So, you wake up, you have a piping hot cup of Yorkshire next to you, you dip your digestive in for a little longer than you should have. I mean, you're still tired. And you see the whole thing just breaks up and floats down at the bottom of your tea. Now you have to jolt out of bed, fetch a spoon, and try and scoop it all out before it's too late, lest you end up with a crumbly, lumpy cup of morning tea. So my plan is to build a device that dips the cookies in for the perfect duration of time, thus eliminating the problem of cookies becoming waterlogged and slowly falling apart like the sanity of everyone in our society over the past few months. Anyways, I originally planned to build a fishing rod-like device with a clip on it, and slowly dip the cookie into the tea. However, as projects do, it got more complex and over the top until I was shopping online for high-torque hobby servos in order to build a fully-fledged tea-obsessed robotic arm. So here's what I built. It has six servo motors, one for swiveling the base like a lifty lofty lazy Susan, two to act as a shoulder, pivoting the arm up and down, one in the middle of the arm to act as an elbow, one on the wrist to move the claw up and down, and one to open and close the claw itself. I made the frame of the arm out of some scrap uh, chipboard that came as furniture packing. Using scrap wood meant that the arm is more sustainable and economical to build. Also it was free and like right here and not at the store. It's controlled by an Arduino Uno and powered by an old ATX power supply from a desktop computer. It has this piece of elastic cord on the back to lighten the load on this elbow servo. I like to think of it as a tendon, although I'm quite sure that's not at all what a tendon does. I went to school for engineering, not biology, okay? So as far as great arms throughout history, I think this falls somewhere just below Adam Jensen's arm from Deus Ex and the Canada arm too. Adam Jensen's arms are fictional! You know what? They're cool, and I like them. So, yeah. It's a pretty revolutionary device, and the world will never need to suffer from soggy cookie-related incidents ever again. Shall I demonstrate it? So, I've set everything up for a lovely relaxing cup of tea. Tea, cookies, giant massive robotic arm, big worry power supply. Uh, okay, let's, let's give this thing a test, shall we? So it's gonna just position itself over here, coming towards the cookie. Uh, that's, that's not the cookie. That's, that's not, that's not, that's not the cookie. That's not, that's not the cookie. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, ah, we here. Uh, stays in line. So it picks the cookie, ah. Okay, um, yeah, that's how I feel too. Just grab on, grab onto it, grab the cookie. It's then gonna lift it. Over here, just make sure it doesn't trip. Um, okay, so we're done here, so we're done here. Oh yes, beautiful dogs. Uh, just tap it over here, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, no. No, just help, oh, oh, uh, okay. Ooh, okay, well. Might need to go back to the drawing board on that one. Ah. Oh. Uh, okay. Well. And it drags the tea with it, but. It's trying, uh So, I am back. Um, I found out that one of the servos was actually unplugged. So I've now got a different type of cookie. I have propped it up on here with Purell, because it doesn't stand up on its own. And I figured one last go, uh, to see if it works when it's, you know, all the motors are plugged in. It's going to slowly approach the cookie here. Already it's looking much, much stronger. It gets a grab on it, and it doesn't actually grab it. Okay. So, I am back again now, 
with a cookie of the right size with all the servo motors plugged in. We no longer are going to have any issues with motors being unplugged. And this time it's for all the marbles. It's going to just work. So our arm's coming in here. It's approaching the cookie. It's going to get a great little grab on it. And bang, that works perfectly. We're bringing it over to the T, lifting it up, and lifting up a bit high. That's kind of weird, but okay. We're coming down into the T where it gets a little dip in there. The T is less full than earlier, so it's not quite that dipped, but regardless, that's good. Bring it back over to the counter where it places it back on the platform beautifully. Yes! Victory! And it tastes like strawberry jam. So, there you have it. One of mankind's greatest issues solved. I'm probably going to do something else with this Roboticon in the future. I want to maybe incorporate it into cutting stuff for the kitchen or other mundane tasks. Um, maybe get it to solve some more of the world's most pressing issues. But for now, have a great day and thank you so much for watching.